So recently, for whatever reason, I decided I wanted to unlock Gold Mario on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, if you didn't know how to do that, basically all you have to do is come in first place overall on every single cup on 200cc. It's not that bad. Now, what I decided to do is try to do it in one stream. I didn't know if this was going to take me all day. I didn't know if it was going to take me a few hours. I figured, what the hell? Maybe it'll be an interesting YouTube video in the end, and uh, you know, I'll unlock Gold Mario in the process. Now, what I didn't know when I was live is that for the first, I would say, about hour or so, there was absolutely no game audio. Okay. This is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. How long has it been doing that? I, I could have sworn it was working at the beginning. Oh, look, my camera's frozen. I've been recording for like 40 minutes. I'm sure like 90% of this recording is just trash now. You can say that again, pal, because boy, was all of this recording just absolutely unusable, unsavable. There was no hope for this YouTube video to ever see the light of day. In the process, however, I did unlock Gold Mario and I still managed to have a good time, even though I had to deactivate and reactivate my capture card about every 15 minutes in order for the audio to keep playing. So now that I've unlocked Gold Mario and I've played on every single track in the game, I thought to myself, what could I do with all this since this video is unsavable? Well, I decided I was going to rank every single Mario Kart track in the game, excluding DLC, and this is how it turned out. All right, so the plan for today is uh, pretty simple. Uh, we're going to, uh, like what I did there, I didn't say exactly what the, that one person says, but I said something a little bit different. We're going to be uh, ranking every single Mario Kart track. Uh, that's right, every single one, excluding the DLC tracks. And uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of play through the uh, each map as we go. Um, we're not going to play out the whole race, because um, that would just take too long. I already did that. I unlocked Gold Mario. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start by playing each and every one and ranking, uh, you know, ranking them as we see fit. So we're gonna start off with the uh, Mushroom Cup with Mario Kart Stadium. Oh yeah, this, I mean, Mario Kart Stadium is a classic. I mean, it's pretty much the, the first course in every game. Um, they're always a little bit different. I would say this one is uh, definitely no exception to being just a very good entry level course. Yeah, th this one's pretty simple. I would say that's a pretty run of the mill, like very basic, nothing too crazy, nothing bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that at B tier. I think that's an easy B tier. I don't think there's anything wrong with that course. I don't think there's anything that great about it. Uh, yeah, maybe even, it, it's a good course. It's a, you know, I, I do enjoy it. It's a nice relaxing course if you wanna just hop on, play the game real quick. It's a good entry level one. We'll, we'll leave it at B tier. I think that's pretty fair. Okay, next up we got Water Park. I don't have any memory of this course whatsoever, actually. Water Park, I don't remember this one at all. Oh, I do remember this one. This one's all right. The underwater ones always kind of get me because like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not a fan of it. I, I, I think uh, I think Water Park is going to go at C tier. It's it's um, it's not it's not the best. It's not bad, though. I don't think by any means it's, it's bad. It's just not it's just not great. All right. Next up, we have Sweet Sweet Canyon. I actually really enjoy this one. I think this one's really good. It reminds me of uh, one of my favorite courses of all time. Donkey Kong Mountain. This reminds me a lot of that, like a modern day version of that with you know, obviously candy and cake everywhere and cookies, but I think it's just the cannon. I think this is, if this is the one with the cannon, this is definitely a, a course I enjoy quite a bit. Yeah, here we go. See, it just, it reminds me of DK Canyon or whatever, DK Mountain. It was Sweet Sweet Canyon. I think, I think Sweet Canyon is, is a B tier. I think it's good. It, it's a good track. I, I really enjoy that one a lot. Next up, we got Thwomp Ruins. I don't like that. The word Thwomp makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. Like, whenever I hear somebody say it when they're talking about a Mario game, like, it just, it makes me uncomfortable. I mean, it's, it's all right. right. Um, Thwomp, yeah, Thwomp Burns is all right. Big B energy. I'm feeling, I, I, I think C. I think it's pretty boring. Like, the whole level's pretty bland color-wise, and, like, it's just very, like, simple, and, like, it's mid. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just mid. We're on to the flower cup already. We got Mario Circuit. This one's got all the right angles, dude. Like, I like the way it curves with the turns. Like, it's really... This this one's really cool and it's colorful. Yeah, I I do indeed smell an A tier for this one. Yeah, I I think this is our first A tier, boys. This 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 was a good one. Next up, we got Toad Harbor. Now this this one's quite the stinker, if I remember. Yeah, I think I'm smelling a B tier for this one. This this one's kind of nice. I I, I kind of felt like it was a stinker going into it, but I like the beach vibes, I like the little toads cheering on the sideline. The music is real nice. I think that's another. I think it's middle of the road. I think, I think it's it's not bad. It's not great. It's just kind of like, eh. Next up, we got Twisted Mansion. These mansion levels are kind of hit or miss. Like, I feel like right now I don't mind this because I haven't played in a few days. But I feel like this 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 one is a bit boring. Like, it's very, like... Like, this is one of those ones where when I play online, or when I'm playing, like, a lot, if I'm doing a lot of back-to-back -back races and this one comes up, I'm like, ugh. You know I mean, like, it's not... It's not, it's, a, it's not bad, you know? It's not... 
I might even I might even go as far as to say D. I think it's just kind of like it's a little bit like it's one of those ones I would like to avoid. Yeah, I think that's gonna be our first D tier. The, the theme is cool. I feel like if you were playing on like Halloween, maybe be, maybe be all right. Um, next up we got Shy Guy Falls. I think I think this is a solid track. Reminds me of like those like Western themed like Disney rides, like a log flume or like a. A minecart. Oh wait, speaking of which, there's a minecart right there. Like something like that. Shy Guy Falls, we'll put that at B. Star Cup. We got Sunshine Airport. Um, it might be a little early to say this, but I, I feel like uh I feel like this this is like a C tier. I think I think it's pretty middle of the road. Uh, there's nothing really special about it though. It's just kinda like uh it's just a it's just a track, you know? Sunshine Airport. We will put at C tier. Next up, we got Dolphin Shoals. As far as underwater ones go, I think this is probably the best underwater one. You think if you're gonna do an underwater level, this is kind of like how to do it. Ooh, and the music. The music's coming in now. All right. Dang it, with every power up under the sun right now, I really can't enjoy this level right now. Another blue shell? Holy shit. You know, call me crazy, but I think this one might actually be a B tier. I, I enjoy this track a lot. I'm, I'm gonna put this at like a low B. I would put it above Shy Guy Falls though. We got Electrodome. Electrodrome. Yeah, this is this is straight up F tier. This this map is garbage. But you know what? This isn't that this isn't that bad. I think this might be a I think this might be a D tier. Like it's not terrible. It's not my favorite though. I think this is D. I, I would I, I would actually rather play on that than than the boo one though. So I'll, I'll keep it above that. Right, next up we have Mount Wario. Now th this is another one I don't really like that much. I kind of feel so like these these tracks we kind of have to play the whole thing out because it's not like a traditional lap track. It's like a see like now we're on lap two. Mount Wario. I'm gonna put that D tier as well. I still put it above but that that boo. There's something about that boo one I just don't like. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Now that's it for the Star Cup. Now we're on to the uh, Special Cup. First up we got Cloud Top Cruise. Okay, this one's pretty nice. I gotta say. Anyone with a cannon, it throws me right back to DK Mountain, dude. I think this is S tier. I, I think this is the first S tier. It's it's one of my favorites for sure. Yeah, I really really enjoy Cloud Top Cruise. I think I think it's a really really good course. I think it is probably one of, one of the better courses in the game. Um, I really enjoy Mario Circuit as well. I think these two are, are so far the best. Now, next up we have Dry Bone Dry Dunes. The desert maps are another one, kind of like the water ones, where kind of like I can't get into it. I think this, I think this is C tier. I think I still put it above Water Park, but I think I think it's definitely C tier. It's not great. It's not bad. It's pretty mid. It's it's a solid level. I think C tier is fair. One of my favorites artistically in the game, Bowser's Castle. The lava, the the fire, the big Bowser slamming down the course. Like it, it, there's a lot of cool shit in this level. But look at that, dude. Like this is a cool one. Doing the music, kind of like the the metal Bowser music. The, the big Bowser gets me every time. He literally got me that time. <laughs> I think uh, this is our second S tier. I think I think Bowser's Castle on this game, uh, as far as the original tracks go, because I mean, like I said, there's a lot of tracks that are pulled from other games here, but as far as the Mario Kart originals, Mario Kart 8 originals, this is a really, really good track. Next, we have uh, Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 8. The Mario Kart 8 take on Rainbow Road. And I gotta say, this map is truly awful. It's so bad. It's arguably the worst track in the game, not excluding DLC because there's there's some stinkers on there. Maybe we'll do a DLC tier list next. We'll, to, we'll play on all the DLC tracks, but this one, whew, it's pretty bad. Now, Rainbow Road is obviously, uh, you know, one of the most infamous names when it comes to Mario Kart. It's always like the last or the hardest track in the game. Playing on it, not on 200. See, I'm, <laughs> I have 200 CC brain right now. From playing 200 CC, Half of these will go down to will go down to like DEF because they're so bad on 200 CC. 150 CC, it wasn't that bad. I kind of like the, you know, the, the the art style, the the conveyor belt thing is whatever. Um, I still don't think it's that great. I, I really don't. Like maybe some people will find that insane, um, but it's not as bad as I thought. Playing on it, not on 200 200 CC. I was just off the map every two seconds. I I think I came in like ninth place on that. That's it for the uh, special cup. Now we're on to the egg cup. And you got Yoshi Circuit, a personal favorite of mine. Like this really just screams Mario Kart. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think I need to finish this lap out to tell you that this is A tier. I mean, this is this is just it, it's it's a good map, dude. It's very simple. I'm a very very simple man, you know. I, I like simple things. Um, I do like some some crazy and extravagant things sometimes, but as far as uh, this map goes, um, it's from the GameCube. It, it's it's an A tier. I think I think Yoshi Circuit is is classic. All right, next up we got Excite Bike Arena. This one's very simple though. 
Nothing, nothing uh, too crazy. I'll save myself from that red shell. Excite bike, uh, I think we're gonna put that in C tier. Next up, we got Dragon Driftway. Gotta say, I do like these curvy ones. I do feel like this one is C tier as well. I think it, it's pretty okay. Again, it's not something I would like search out to play on my own. I think it's C tier. Next up, we have Mute City. This is another one of those ones that has that theme to it that uh, I don't know if I like this one or not. We'll see. I can't quite decide if I like this one or if it's like, if. I think this might actually be like a low B. I think I think low B is fair, but I, I think it's like high C, low B. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it as like a low B tier. I think that's that's pretty fair. Okay, on to the next one. On to Leaf Cup. We got Baby Park. Baby Park is a classic. I mean, who who doesn't enjoy this track? I mean, come on. I might I might have to I might have to slightly disagree with you, only because it is so simple. It is like nostalgia wise, it holds a special place in my heart. I love Double Dash. However, speaking on just very objectively like is it a good mario kart track i mean i think it's good i do it i'm sorry it's not quite a tier it's not it's just like it's 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 so much nostalgia blocking the truth cheese land however cheese land is a certified hood classic there ain't no way you're saying e to this unless my memory is false for this track i think i think e is a bit harsh I don't think it's as good as I remember. I'll meet you in the middle. I think it's D tier. I think it's the best D tier one though. Next up, we got Wild Woods. This one looks very cool so far. And like this dude, the village in here is absolutely insane. This is, this, this is S tier. I think it's easy, easy S. We, oh, this is another one that's an absolute banger. Now I am not somebody who's played Animal Crossing. I grew up watching my sister play it a lot. My sister was real into these games. She had the one for the Wii and the, um, the Switch. The whatever the her new horizons i've always wanted to try these games um but this this track and all that it has to offer is truly incredible but the noise of the uh, items is different instead of coins it's little money bags it has a little different noise there's two tracks that are like this in the game that just absolutely slap this is an s tier i mean i don't know i don't know what to say either buddy this this is an easy I, i'm not getting killed by the blue shell but this is an easy S tier. But yeah, I think Animal Crossing, which I did see on here somewhere, S tier. It's it's just, it just is. We're on to the Shell Cup. Now we have Classic here. Mario Kart Wii uh, is, is a hell of a game. Hell of a game. And Moo Moo Meadows, oh man, look at this. I mean, sun rising, little farm town, toads, cows. If you ever played Mario Kart Wii, this was, this was a banger, dude. I think it's a low A. Again, similar to the the uh, Animal Crossing one, it, the vibes are immaculate. The Moo Moo Meadows is a vibe of a track, and God is it so much, it brings so much joy to my heart to play that map. It might be a little biased, that, listen, I, I enjoyed Mario Kart Wii uh, a lot. You know, I played that game quite a bit back in the day. I think I think it's a classic. Got another Mario Circuit, this time from Game Boy Advance. I mean, I it's, it's all right. right. Like... Um, it's not. It's not bad. It's it's a it's a safe. It's a very safe track. Cheap Cheap Beach is a classic. I feel, I feel like I'm on vacation right now. Yeah, this this one's pretty solid. I think A is 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 very fair. Toad's Turnpike. Boy, do I not like this track. I do, however, like the kind of like Mario version of like midnight club music they have playing but i think this this level is just more annoying than anything toad's turnpike is is the first e tier oh boy we got dry dry desert now i mentioned it before but these desert maps they don't do it for me i think it's because in real life i hate sand <laughs> okay Anakin. i don't like sand it's it's a d for sure i'll put it next to cheese i like cheese land better donut plains this track is very simple Hard to like love or hate this track. As far as like a throwback level goes, it's I, li I like how they took a very what was originally like if you saw the original version of this track, like how it was basically like everything was 2D, like flat on the ground, and they kind of like made what it would look like in 3D and added some things like this water and stuff. I'll give it I'll give it high C. Royal Raceway. I really enjoy this track. I like all the curves and, and twists and turns. It's very simple, but it's very. Like these turns, everything just flows really well on this map. The Royal Raceway, definitely an A tier. Um, I'm gonna, I would even go to put it like somewhere around there. I very much like it. DK Jungle. Not quite DK Mountain from, from GameCube, but I don't know. This one's pretty all right too. We got a, we got a winner in our books right here. 
yeah, going from like the jungle to the temple to now like this uh, you know other jungle part, big banana statue. Back in the jungle. I I I think I gotta say it, dude. I think he's already said it, but holy shit, we have an S tier. I really enjoy this one. Do I'm telling you, the Donkey Kong. Track the Donkey Kong tracks do not disappoint. So now we're on to the leaf cup. We have Wario Stadium. I mean, it's all right. Like Wario makes everything worse. He really does. Poor Wario. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's like it's 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 somewhere in this range here. I, I, I'm thinking D. Now Sherbert Land. I'm a sucker for like Christmas vibes. You know what I mean? Like ice and snow and Christmas lights and the the shy guys ice skating, the music, the snowmen, the little. Iceberg things here. Pretty safe to say this is an A tier. It's a classic, and not only that, but even it holds up today. It's it's a good map. I think it's a really good map. Next up, we have Music Park. Wait a second. Well, you see, the problem is, is like the most recent time I played all these tracks was on 200 CC, and this was a fucking atrocious on 200 CC. I gotta say, I think, I think things have turned, have taken a turn for the the better. I think I gotta put Music Park. At, at at the highest B it can be. I think, I actually th think, going back and playing that on a normal speed, the music, the dancing plants, the instruments, the lights, it it's, it's amazing. So next up we have Yoshi Valley from the N64. I love Yoshi, dude. I love anything Yoshi. Then the music, I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is like low B. Now we're on to the lightning. I'm gonna start off with TikTok Clock. I gotta say, uh, this one. It's pretty all right. It's, it's it, I think, I think this might be like a high D. This might be the highest D so far. Cause it, 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 it has its moments, but it's it definitely not great. Next up we have Piranha Plant Slide. Yeah, I kinda like this one. I'm kinda digging this. I like the idea of starting above ground and then going underground. And finishing above ground again. The pipes are cool. They're kind of like driving through the pipes. I gotta say, I think I, I think I thoroughly enjoy this one. That's a, that's a good map. I, I agree. I think that one's pretty good. Not quite the greatest, but definitely a good map. So much so, I will give it. I will give it an A tier. Ooh, Grumble Volcano. Now to get the full effect of this map, you really have to go to the last lap. This ink is really going to ruin my favorite part of this entire map. I will give it to you. It wasn't quite the S tier I thought it was going into it. I'll, I'm going to give this one an A. Again, it might be a little biased here, but I really do enjoy that map. Next up, we have N64 Rainbow Road. This is a good one. Now, I'm a little disappointed that this game didn't bring over Rainbow Road from Double Dash because the Rainbow Road on the GameCube Double Dash, you know, Mario Kart Double Dash, is by far by a fucking, like a landslide, the best rainbow road that has ever been created. I will say this is a close second. Uh, oh, I finished the race by accident. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> this, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is an S tier. Rainbow road, it's an S tier. Got some good ones and we got some stinkers in here. Uh, we're gonna start off with Wario's gold mine. Yeah, it's not the vibe is right i think it's e i think it, it, it could arguably be a low d but i think there, there's something about that track that just made me want to quit immediately next up we got another rainbow road another good one too the snes and the way they've they've transitioned this into a 3d map i think is is pretty good because it does have that very simple nes feeling to it but it also has a nice you know they, they, they did a good job like i said nothing, nothing too crazy it's from simpler times but they did do a nice twist on it. Yeah, I think this is a B. I think this is a, this is a solid B. Respectfully, it's gonna have to go into the low B category. Ice Ice Outpost. I'm thinking uh, it might be a bit early. But I'm thinking this is probably gonna be like a C. It's kind of, it's very mid. It's like it, it's not bad. Yeah, I think this is like a mid C because the ice vibes are, are kind of cool, but there really is nothing going on. Ice Ice Outpost. We'll we'll put that somewhere in the C category. And boy, do we have slapper coming up right now so first of all the coins are changed to rupees so there's no coins in the map there's rupees and the noise it makes when you get a box well i'll just let you i'll just let you hear it and look at the, the it's already an s okay let's just be honest here it's an s tier i should have picked link would have made this all better this is just it's incredible dude 
Look at the rupees. I missed it. Well, I gotta get a box. You hear the noise. The music. I think you're right. A high S is, is definitely in uh, in order here. Now we're in the castle grounds. The noise of the box gets me, dude. I've only recently been introduced to Zelda games, and now I want to play all of them. Like, I've been playing Breath of the Wild. But I think I... So my plan after Tears of the Kingdom comes out, which is next week, is to go back and play all the old ones. So I want to play uh, Ocarina of Time. Let's just... Let's just skip to... The, we're just going to put this up here, dude. Hyrule Circuit is... Is fucking amazing. The, the way they... They... they captured the art style of zelda and the castle and the vines and the swords and the the root every the sound effect of the box alone dude now we're on to the last um the last cup we only got four left to do we got neo bowser city ribbon road super bell subway and big blue none of which i remember very well except for ribbon road let's start off with neo bowser city though let's see how it is yeah like this one this one's cool the nighttime city the city skyline in the background, um, the, the little tubes in the sky, the neon colors. Um, so much so, I'm gonna put it in low A. I think it's a low A. We have Ribbon Road. Kind of went into this with a little bit of a negative, uh, negative view. I kind of was thinking this was gonna be pretty trash, but I kind of dig in the Toy Story vibes. I like how it's all like Mario toys and Mario Kart themed. There's big carts in the background, and like, it looks like we're in a bedroom. There's like a nightstand with a light. This is. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is B. I think this is B. Super Bell Subway. I gotta be real with you. There's something about this map that just ain't it, dude. It's not, there's nothing too good looking going on here. Like, I feel like in the station, it looks all right. Like, it kind of, it's cool how that it's like a Mario themed uh, subway station. I mean, we got some art on the wall and stuff like that. But then once you get out on the actual, I mean, this is like three seconds of the track. Like you get, you exit the track there, you enter the track right here, and then you're just in gray f***ing tunnel land, you know what I mean? We're gonna have to send this straight to F tier. Now, all we have left is Big Blue. Now, I, I don't know if I memory hold this map, but I don't remember it at all. So, it could be an F tier, it could be a D tier, it could be a B tier, it could be an S tier. I don't know, I don't remember. So, we only have one track left to go. I'm, not, I'm gonna use my, my go-to for the last track here. We're gonna use Red Yoshi. Got the car all figured out. Big blue. Are you going to be a letdown? Or are you going to let me end on a positive note with a smile on my face? Hmm. Okay, okay. The music. The music's kicking on. Now, this is the part I was kind of looking forward to here. The water slide. I hope I don't get hit by anything because I don't want to ruin this. Ooh, this is kind of cool, dude. Because you can really fly down these. The waterfall. Uh, hold on. Oh, this is one. Okay, we're going to play this whole thing out. There's certain tracks in this game that are like not regular laps. Like it's one straight track. I'm. St I think I'm gonna agree with you. I think I'm smelling. An I think I'm smelling that we're ending on an S S tier. This is this is really cool. Well, that flew by. That was so that was so great. It just flew by. That was a solid map. I really I, I went into that thinking it was gonna be a stinker, but it turned out to be uh, quite the opposite. Actually, very great ending. That that was a good way to. I was really hoping for. I was really kind of expecting a, a stinker but i was hoping for something like that a hidden gem i think it goes right behind dk jungle ladies and gentlemen we have our mario kart tier list we have ranked every single track that's 48 48 tracks we've ranked from mario kart 8 deluxe yeah i mean i think this is this there may be some hot takes in here maybe some a little bit of bias a little bit of uh controversy but i think overall this is pretty solid <laughs>